guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Elena. Привет! I'm a Russian-American makeup and beauty addict. I usually do reviews and tutorials of affordable makeup for Walmart, drugstore, various websites. I'll test them on my face, I'll pass the savings to you guys. In this video, I'm reviewing the new collection from Profusion. And this collection is... Ta-da! This huge box! The Mean Girls, oh my god, I'm such a fan. So I got this from Walmart for $19.99 and arrived the next day. Walmart delivered. So we're gonna be reviewing the palette, the mirror, the brushes, and we're gonna be doing this look, and I'll tell you what's the tea and what's the shade. So if you guys are interested, then keep on watching. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell so YouTube notifies you of all the new stuff I upload. Uh, so comment, like, subscribe, and let's get right into this. So I'm about to film, and this is never gonna look the same once I open it. So I'm gonna show you guys. Insert this in the video. Look how awesome this is. Oh my god. Well, I'm not gonna close the box. It's gonna fall apart. But anyway, you're like a really pretty the burn book mirror and yearbook. This should have been a burn book, the missed opportunity. That is so cool. Oh my god. Can't wait to try all of this eyeshadow right now. Oh my god, that's so beautiful. And the brushes, the brushes, look at the brushes. Yes, yes, Perfusion, you did well. You did so, so well. So I received this today, the next day after it came out. I mean, I had to. Well, first of all, I went to Perfusion website because I always use order perfusion from perfusion it's just easy to get uh walmart doesn't usually have everything so i ordered like a bunch of stuff i ordered the uh, the nine pants like the regina george color and another one i don't remember i ordered so much stuff so quickly before it sold, sells out uh, i'm such a fan of mean girls that's why i was like i need to get this so this one was out of stock already sold out like that so I went to Walmart website and what do you know Walmart had it for $19.99. Look at the size of this box. And when you open it, I mean obviously I already used it. You see this? This is like of sentimental value and I am going to keep it when we get a house and have a beauty room. This is gonna be behind me in the beauty room. <laughs> I have to and it's pink. I mean it's a win-win-win-win-win situation. The mirror says, Baron book. This is like awesome. It's totally awesome. I'm so going to use it in my videos now. And this card was inside. It says, you're like real pretty. And it says, what is what? So North Shore High School yearbook is actually $14.98. On Wednesday, wear pink brushes. Brush says it's $5.98. And the burn book held, held, held mirror is $5.98, but I guess they packaged them together for $19.99. And again. So this is swatches on my own arm, because I couldn't trust my husband with these. I had to see it for myself. I swatched everything a few times. It was real hard to get color pigmentation for some of them, for most of them. So yeah, the swatches I was not impressed with. So you'll see how this performs on the eye. So let's get into the tutorial and you'll see how that actually applies. I got thirsty because it took me an hour to do just this. And I'm not happy about this. So uh, we shall see and I'll show you my first attempt and I wiped everything off. Roll the clip, so I'm gonna just take my face off. It's just a little video I took with my phone. As you can see, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this, but there is the definite shine somewhere where the blue was and the purple. So I don't know which one of these eyeshadows had a shine in it. I literally cannot see which one of them is satin. They all look matte, but then gave me the shine, and it's like a stripe of shine. So I decided to dump the blue and go with purple. So back to my face. 
So as you can see, it's a struggle. I wanted to love this palette. I wanted to love it. But let's see if I get more lucky with this eye because I already know which one I should not touch. <laughs> yes, the shade is real. Okay, so this is a gesso brush. Uh, I like this for the small areas. It's Petite Eye Blender 2 to 3. So I'm going right into its black and it's called Life, Life Ruiner. This one. I gotta say, they have AA+. A++ for the packaging. When I saw this box and I received it in the mail one day from Walmart, I was like, yes! I started to take videos, to take pictures. I'm like, this is the best thing ever. And it's kind of slowly going ooh, down the hill. But you know, sometimes I'm a little hard on brands and it's just like, it's not my good day or something, you know. Like a Michaela palette didn't blend well, and then the next time I did it, it was just fine. So I'm taking another brush, I don't remember where it came from, I think it's Ipsy Bag, just to blend this out. <laughs> Spectrum, A12, it's about the same size, so I'm gonna dip into the Jealous. So I'm gonna go, I'll show you what I'm gonna use, so I don't have to lift it again. Jealous, they're all similar that get in, get in loser, I'm trying to use my acting skills, hot body, I don't remember the reference, but I haven't watched this movie in like, in a while, I think I watched it last year, there is always a time and a place to watch the Mean Girls, I'm a big fan, so this palette, the whole collection is like the bee's knees. So I'm placing the purple on top of the black and blending this out. Sometimes some formulas for purple are not good, but this one is okay. Next, get in loser. So I'm going to lighter purples then. Lighter and warmer. I'm trying to be careful where I block my eyebrow. I'm only disappointed with how much eyebrow tattoo got removed. I think microblading is more resistant, but it was kind of painful and it was kind of swollen. I was expecting to be better, to see better results, but maybe it's just the resistant tattoo. All right, next we're gonna go into the lighter purple, the hot body. It's more like a pinkish purple. I'm using Spectrum B11 brush. So now everything blends easier. Well, that's because I figured out what not to use. And that beautiful blue that I was drawn immediately. That beautiful blue was not good. No bueno. And now I'm going into the actual brush that came with it. The brushes are super pretty. They're very short though, see? And this is called That is So Fetch. Stop trying to make fetch happen. It's not going to happen, Gretchen. <laughs> so I'm going into the pink shirt. This one is a pretty large brush. So the brush set is cute. It's not a lot of brushes. So for the eyeshadow blending, this will work because it's outside. I've got to say the brushes are beautiful. Very soft. Very nice brushes. I'm impressed. And actually, let's do the satisfying moment try to open up the mirror so we can use our burn book mirror I hope you heard that very satisfying and let's try to use the actual mirror I usually don't use this mirrors like this in the videos because I find the mirror creates a reflect into the camera or I forget and I cover myself up and Kind of ends up badly. But this is small enough, it's very sturdy. I like it actually. There's another sticker here. It says Mean Girls and it's a burn book. It's pretty cool. It looks just like the book in the movie. And I love that it says, You like really pretty. <laughs> 
you like really pretty. I can go on with this forever. I need to shush and keep doing it. Now we're just gonna apply the purples and pinks. And I'm still excited because I still love the packaging and everything, but so far the palette kind of gave me a hard time. Certain things. Now we're gonna go to Stale Orange and Cool Mom. Now that I figured out which ones are good, actually it's not bad. The orange works. I think I went way out farther on this eye, so I might have to fix this one. Because this one was a trouble one. I wiped it off a couple of times. Now the yellow, I just cleaned the brush on the towel. Cool mom. I'll still fix it after I do my base as usual. Maybe blend it a little farther. I just wanted to see how much pigmentation I get out of yellow. So now I want to go with this color over here. A lesbian crush. <laughs> I love the name. And obsessed with me, the glitter, for the brow bone highlight. And that was my husband texting me. I asked him to stop by Walmart to get some stuff. And then hopefully he's going to be back here. So I can swatch the palette on him. Here's the problem. This the lesbian crush. I don't know if you can see it. It's crumbly and awesome time. Lesbian crush, both of them. They're very much the same. It's very hard to pick up. And when they apply it, you have to be very careful. I think it's best to apply it with a finger, but like how you can apply with a finger if you want to apply in a small area. So I'm not into this formula that much. It's very beautiful, very reflective, but extremely difficult to apply. Now I'm gonna pick up some glitter. Just tap, tap, tap on. Going into a cool side. We're gonna go into Don't Look At Me, uh, You Go, Glen Coco, and Shut Up. <laughs> I love that moment. She says, Shut Up. <laughs> and Katie is like, I didn't say anything. <laughs> Do people like this exist, really? So, don't look at me. Now, this is the good blue. The bad blue was string fling or spring fling. And that is the most beautiful blue. And this S H A T, I mean, why do I spell it? Shittiest formula. There you have it. Personally victimized. I add a little bit of that for the better transition of purple. And then we're going into the Hugo Glen Coco. This blend nicely, no problems. And the next one is the same brush, just clean it up and just shut up. Nice green, no problems. So this is 230 Lux Pencil, Jessa. Going into Buttered Muffin. <laughs> This one, I'm just laughing because I'm remembering the movie movie references. So I just want to add a little bit of limey yellow here. And again, this two do not want to blend. Buttered muffin is real pretty. You like real pretty, <laughs> but it's very powdery. It does not want to blend with it. It's green at all. I need to patch fix it down there right back. Okay, it's time to try those shimmers and the, I'm telling you, they're very much patchy-like and very crumbly. So I'm gonna try this uh, awesome time, pink. Actually, I already hit the pan, just pushing, by pushing it. I pushed it and it went into the pan. I mean, it's pretty, but it's really hard. To achieve a little more pigmentation, I might try to spray the brush. It's like a shovel, it just sits there. But hopefully with a little set of spray. I haven't tried the spray in the other eye, to be honest, because I just wanted to see how it's gonna work without the spray. I mean, it works, but... And because it's so crumbly, do you see this? Let me zoom in. Do you see my lid? Do you see the stripes? It's very hard to blend and it gets very patchy. So that is not acceptable. That's why I ended up on this eye. I ended up wiping everything away. And I might have to do it again. Lesbian crush. I'm going with my finger because the brush just makes everything worse. It's very difficult to get in here with my finger. But 
the brush I struggled even more with. So I forgot to mention, I used this eyebrow brush before for the brow bone. Yes, I dropped it for the brow bone highlight. You see, that's a problem. They're so small, you just drop it besides I have butter fingers. And this is called I Want My Pink Shirt Back. And the flat brush that I applied or try to apply shimmer with, it's called I'm a mouse. Duh. <laughs> yeah, the names are brilliant and the brushes are actually very good. So now we're going into the burn book. I love that color. That color is beautiful, blends well. This one is formulated well. And this is a lavish brush. Just a little fluffy. I put Colourpop gel liner in the waterline. The pinkish and the black beauty creations. See, this color is beautiful and blends easy goes on smooth, so I understand why they couldn't formulate the whole palette like this. So we're getting somewhere, I'm making it work. The look is getting a little better, it's still a little patchy places and I see things, but it's getting better. The thing is, how long it took me to arrive there, that's the problem. Okay, so we're gonna use this tiny, tiny brush. I'm gonna use this beautiful dome brush as a bronzer brush. I mean, you can use it whichever way you like. Uh, on Wednesdays we wear pink, I mean, pink, okay. that's a wrong thing to say here in this video. Okay, so I'm gonna use this palette from Boxycharm, Iconic London, it has all kind of colors here, so I'm gonna use bronzer from here. The brush is extremely, extremely soft, so that's a good thing, I already cream, uh, bronzed and cream contoured and everything and cream blushed so got it all already so what were you in high school were you a popular girl a mean girl or were you a non-popular nerd definitely not a popular girl i mean i'm trying to be one now like all in pink but the truth is, in school I was very, very shy. I did very well in math and all the kind of subjects. That, I mean, I did well pretty much in everything. Kids hated me. I mean, some of them hated me. Popular girls didn't even look at me. I was one of the nerds that nobody liked pretty much, except for a few people that kind of nerdy like me. So, that was me, totally. So I could not wait to get out of school. My husband just walked in, so excuse the noise. So by the way, in Russia, in Soviet Union, we didn't have high school. So we had one school from first grade to the 10th grade. We had 10 grades. So from year seven to year 17, you would go to the same building with the same uh, 20, 25 people in the same class. So pretty much same kids. You start and you graduate. I don't know what they do now, but that's what it was like. So there is no junior nor elementary. It was all one school. We had first shift and second shift. Yes, my husband was washing his hands. This microphone picks up everything, so excuse me. So yeah, I don't know if you're aware, that's how it rolled in Soviet Union. <laughs> so pretty much, a small six, seven year old would be in the same building with a 17 year old, so that was very confusing. And you would go from like 7, 8 a.m. till noon or 1, and a second shift from 1 till like 6. You know, that's how we did it. Okay, I'm using a very interesting shape brush. I like this kind of brushes for blush. So, using this brush, uh, this is Perfusion, what is it? So you agree? You think you're really pretty? <laughs> I love this line. So that's gonna be our blush. So I'm thinking uh, orange, orange or pink. I want pink, you know, because on Wednesdays we wear pink. Maybe I'll use one of these here, or two of these. Maybe I'll go in between this. One of them is shimmery. One of them is bad. So we're just gonna combine two together. Very, very nice brushes. Very happy with them. Oh yeah, that's definitely a glowy blush. So this is the finished look. 
I mean, I pulled it all together at the end, right? So it's not all that bad. It was just very difficult to work with. But overall, you can create a nice look. And the shimmers worked with me at the end. And the glitter in the inner corner, I did use a little glitter glue. Because the glitter is nice, but usually perfusion formula is a little more sticky. This one's a little more dry. So I did use glitter glue to apply it here. So I used perfusion whip it good. It's like a soft green powdery, I would say, uh, highlighter. I applied it with those fingers and I used Belgian Waffle BH Cosmetics on top of that. And I used Perfusion Lips Lipstick. So this is soft uh, matte, matte lip cream. And this is a sparkling lip topper. Pretty much sparkling lip gloss. The color is Dream Topper. Uh, my dream and dream topper. That's the colors. It's very neutral pinkish Just like this look and I use some cheap pink earrings to go with the cheap pink box that came in The shade Okay, this is a finished look and I've got my cat playing with the q-tip. No, the q-tip isn't yours Come over <laughs> Come over baby Say hello to the audience. Do you like the Mean Girls? <laughs> oh, you don't care. You don't care. Do you think this palette is pretty? Huh? So you think you're pretty? <laughs> ah! Butthole. All right, baby, the dinner is coming. Anyway, so uh, the palette swatched a little better than I expected. The yellow swatched all right so you saw it in the beginning of the video the black is very good uh surprisingly half of this palette i mean i didn't count how many i liked how many disliked but i would say about half is really not that great and <laughs> this is very distractive uh half of it is great so i even like the the shimmery putty like uh, sh uh, metallics because they're very very uh in your face they're almost like glitter the glitters are great the perfusion glitter is always good so it's very inconsistent you know some of the palettes most of perfusion palettes i would say that i have they look like butter and they blend immediately this one it was a struggle so i would rate it one out of ten i would rate it a five <laughs> <laughs> because I mean it's really not worth it I mean the box is $19 the whole thing with the brushes and the mirror so just for that value I mean just for sentimental value I'm gonna keep it just because I like the mean girls and I love what they did with it I mean the box is just the whole idea of how they made it it looks just like in the movie and the mirror is very cute I mean I cook baby my cat almost threw the palette down to the floor is this the shade? <laughs> Shangela's being shady. He was like, this goes to trash. <laughs> anyway, you know, you see what they should have done here? They should have put burn book onto the palette because this one is to burn. <laughs> Where am I going with this? Anyway, it's not horrible, but it's, it's just not worth it. I would have priced this box instead of $19.99 for the brushes the mirror and the palette the whole packaging must be expensive to make so i don't know why they priced it so low i would have priced it at 40 dollars i know perfusion is budget but it's a collab the collabs are usually more expensive so i would pr price it at 40 dollars and made the eyeshadow quality better the usual perfusion quality so i don't know why they decided to go with a worse quality and uh, cheaper price but who am i to judge Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Uh, have you tried it yet? Walmart delivers in one day, so I got it fast. <laughs> um, yeah, I was very excited. So I'm excited to see what the other palettes are like, because I ordered a bunch of other stuff, and the nine pans and the blushes, everything the Regina George, because on Wednesdays we wear pink. So you think you're pretty. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, I like everything pink, so that's what I'm getting. So this coming from Perfusion website, so that might take a week 
ish i don't know how fast they're gonna deliver but that's gonna be another video of the rest of this collection but so far i'm on the fence i like the brushes I like the mirror the palette is complete shite but the box and everything in it is beautiful so go figure so let me know what you think leave me a comment below like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet I upload three times a week on mondays wednesdays and fridays and also go live every monday don't forget to ring notification bell so you get notified of all new stuff i upload like comment subscribe follow me on instagram twitter huge thank you to all my patrons I have a Patreon group, we have Facebook, we have Telegram chat, and I do my Patreon looks, and I buy my the palace my patrons choose, all kind of stuff. Anyway, if you guys are interested, the link is also down in the description box. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Love you. Bye!